and welcome to my channel. If you are new here, I am so, so glad that you are here. And if you're returning to my channel, thank you so much. I really, really appreciate it. Before we dive on into today's video, if you haven't subscribed, then just click that subscribe button, and join the Lash Fan, jump on the positivity train, you won't regret it. Also, if you are new here, I start every video with a question to help me get to know you guys and you to get to know me better, because I really want this to be all about a community here on my channel. So today's question of the day is, tell me something that you are looking forward to this week. Leave it down in the comment section below. I seriously love hearing from you guys. Nothing makes me happier than when I get that little notification. It's like, do you have a new comment on your channel? My answer is going to be, I'm really excited to celebrate Easter this year. We are actually going to get to celebrate two days this week, which I think is awesome. We are going to two different locations for two different family events. So I think that's pretty amazing. Two jam-packed days full of family this weekend. I'm very much looking forward to it. Let me tell you what today's video is actually about. I'm going to do a review of my experience with the brand Inky Minky Lashes. If you want to see my review, then just keep watching. If you don't know anything about Inky Minky Lashes, Inky Minky Lashes is owned by Zabrina here on YouTube. She's a pretty big YouTuber, big in my opinion. She has over 500,000 subscribers, and I feel like she's been on YouTube for an extremely, extremely long time. I have watched her for a long time. Now, I won't say that I'm like her number one watcher. She's more of one of those channels that I click on every now and then. One day, I was just bored, and I saw this really beautiful thumbnail with these amazing lashes, and I was like... I need to check that out. I had no idea that she owned a false lash company. I don't keep up with everything she's doing, so I had no idea. But that thumbnail, that thumbnail drew me in. And I was really surprised and impressed when I found out she owned a false lash company. And I was like, oh, wow, that's really cool. And I've really been trying to kind of harness and improve my skills. Since I'm not a professional, I just learn by watching YouTube and playing with makeup. So I was really impressed when I saw that she owned her own false lash company. And I was like, okay, that's really cool. And then I'm watching the video more and I'm seeing all of these different styles. She did a really good job of wearing each pair so you could really get a visual of what they look like on the eye. And I was like, wow, these look really beautiful. There were some interesting styles because I do love the look of false lashes, especially when I'm watching YouTube. I think so many YouTubers look so beautiful when they get all glam and then they throw on the false lashes and it just like elevates the look. So the styles were really intriguing me. And then she started talking about pricing and I was like, this is not that bad. I was really, I don't know, sometimes I feel like YouTubers can take advantage of their subscribers when they reach a point to start making their own products. And sometimes they're a little bit high on the price scale. So when she started talking about her lashes being $5.99, $6.99, I was like, wow, like that's really affordable. If you are a false lash wearer, you know that false lashes, if you're going drugstore, I feel like anywhere from five to like $12 is pretty normal. And then high end, you can get up into the, the early 20s, late 20s. I will not buy high-end lashes. I won't wear them every day. I will never wear false lashes to work. That is not my thing. That is too much work. And then what if it starts popping off while I'm busy at work and I don't have time to reapply and then my eyes drive me crazy the whole time? Like, nope, not gonna happen. So I won't even venture out into the really expensive false lashes. So when I saw her price tag, I was like, these are priced really reasonably. Then she mentioned a discount code, and if it's still active, I will try to put it in the description box for you guys if you're interested. And I was like, oh, wait, and I can get money off? Oh, I, I need to try this. So right away, I got I got my phone, and I'm like going to her website. I'm like, oh, I've got to check this out. So there was two styles that didn't really tickle my fancy. That was the style Make Believe. It just... I like lashes that are dramatic, like obviously these are not, these do not look natural on, like you know these are not my lashes, but they have like a natural style to them, where I thought make believe, it just doesn't look, have that flirty like natural looking lash, even though it's not natural, you, you guys get what I'm saying. And then also kitten, kitten to me was just a little bit too understated, I'm like if I'm going to wear false lashes, like 
I want it to look like I'm wearing false lashes. Like I really wanted there, there to be something on my eyes like that really catch your attention. So those are the two that I did not pick up. But I did pick up six styles and I have now worn all six styles. So I definitely have some feedback for you guys. Let's start with just purchasing from the website. I thought the website was user friendly. I thought the website was totally user friendly. I didn't have any issues there. The shipping was a little bit slow. I think it took from the time it actually shipped about a week to get to me but I did get free shipping, so I'm not gonna complain. That was one thing that did impress me. If you spend $19 in the USA, you get free shipping. So I was like, oh heck yes, like that's a pretty low requirement for free shipping. That, cause I was kind of expecting to be like, oh spend 50, get free shipping. I was like, $19? Uh, thank you so much, Sabrina. I loved that. I'm all about that free shipping life. So definitely user-friendly experience when it came to actually ordering the pro products. They came in fine. They were all packaged up nicely, so no issues with that part. The packaging, it comes in as super cute little pink boxes. Obviously, I'm a fan of that. Pink is my favorite color. There is a clear window screen so you can see which style you're picking up. I really love that. And then the name of each style is a little sticker on the side. I think the only thing that kind of gave away the affordability of these lashes was what was inside. So totally normal little lash display piece here. I don't know what the technical term is for that. But the silver glittery base that you see through the window is just a little piece of paper. The only reason that I'm bringing this up is it's such a little thing to nitpick. But when you're sliding this back in, sometimes it gets all wadded up under there. That's the only thing I don't like. It would have been nice if this was like almost glued to the bottom or glued to the bottom of the box. So that way it's not flopping around when you're trying to put things back in there. I guess I could just throw away all of these little silver pieces, but I must say they look pretty cute in there. I did have to trim all six pairs that I got, but I expected that because I have very small eyes, so I have never bought a lash that is the correct size for my eyes, so I, I expected that. I do feel like I have had to trim quite a bit off of these compared to some other lashes that I've worn. As far as the bands go, I have found all of the bands to be very, very comfortable. They're not the slimmest bands I've ever used, but I almost kind of like it. I wore a different brand after wearing these, and that had like that super, super minimal, I mean so minimal band that it was almost non-existent, and I had a really hard time applying them. I actually feel like the size of this band makes it a little bit more user-friendly, but they're like not so big and chunky that it looks heavy on the eye or it looks like you have on eyeliner when you don't. I feel like the band is a really nice size. And then the actual lashes. I am so impressed with all of these styles. I'm gonna pop some pictures up here of all of the styles, but let me bring you in close so you can see the pair I'm wearing today. This is my favorite pair. It is definitely the most dramatic that I picked up. I, I, I'm kind of obsessed. I love these because these are quite long very long actually. <laughs> like there's no way you're gonna think that these are my natural lashes. There is something about the way these are frayed out and like the spacing is just so pretty and it keeps it from getting too heavy on my eyes. That's an issue I've had so many times when I've worn false lashes, when they're dramatic, they just look so heavy on my eyes. I actually look like I'm like tired, my eyes are half closed. All of these, even the dramatic ones, are just like the perfect amount of wispiness to keep them light on the eyes. This pair is actually based around her daughter's eyelashes. She shared a picture in her video. I'll also link the video down below for you guys. And these really, it's so cool when you, she, you see the picture of her daughter's lashes and these, you're like, wow, I totally see the inspiration. There's just something, like I said, about the spacing of these, the wispiness, the length that is just so alluring, so pretty, flirty. I love this pair. Something interesting from the website here, it says that you can add a second pair of lashes to this and I'm thinking, ooh, I feel like this is quite the drama already. I would never add a second pair, but I absolutely love this. This definitely is my favorite pair out of all of the ones I picked up. Daddy's Girl is this, the second pair I have here. They're wispy, but they have this crisscross pattern that really gives you a nice amount of volume and like fullness in the lash, where it still looks like that natural wispiness, but it gives you a little drama. The silk fibers are longer in the middle to give the look of a more wide open large eye, and I appreciate that having small eyes so many lashes just weigh down my eyes and make them look small and sleepy. None of these did that. 
This parrot has a really unique crisscross pattern that mimics the natural growth pattern of our lashes. I thought that was super duper cool. The next pair, Blessed, I feel like is something so many people will love this style. It's definitely got that glamour, that sexy kind of appeal. It is a beautiful doe-eyed flare that elongates and creates instant lift on the outer corners of the eye. Thick, full fibers add dramatic flare in all the right places, and I totally agree with that description. I just love lashes that kind of give you that cat eye, that little flirty little lift at the edge of the eye. As you can tell, they're spacing, but then there's some areas where the lashes are really densely packed together, and I feel like that gives the lashes such a dramatic look. Something I want to point out too is if you go on the website down below, each pair gives you which eye type each lash looks best with, and I found that so helpful, especially for us uh, like me who are not that great at applying lashes. Next up we have Hi There Gorgeous, and I love this style. Uh, that is her tagline when she opens up her video, so I thought that was a really cute name for these lashes. From the website it says, This pair has thick, rich fibers that are haphazardly placed to provide a natural look and feel. Definitely a dramatic lash. There's a decent amount of length there. Again, it has that really nice spacing between the lashes that keeps it wispy, but then there's areas where the lashes are really packed tightly together to give it a little bit more va va voom on the eye. I did feel like this pair, the, la the band, felt a little bit thicker to me when I was applying it, but I didn't have any issues with applying it or its wear. So the next pair was probably one that I don't know if I loved so much on myself, but other people gave me compliments. It is the pair called Presence. This is definitely a very dramatic one, and I think it's just because I'm not used to wearing false lashes, and I feel like my eyes are a little bit small and can be overtaken by lashes. I felt it was like a little bit too much on my eye, but I got a lot of compliments, so maybe I'm just being, you know, too harsh on myself. Um, but this one is very, very dramatic. It says, bring on the drama, mama. Your presence will be made known with these thick, fluffy, uber glam lashes. V-shaped placement of the fibers on the band make blending these into your own natural lashes effortless. A tapered shape creates a flick on the outer corner of the eyes, so no winged liner is required. This pair was definitely very, very dramatic on my eyes. I will put up a little picture here of me from Instagram wearing this pair. Tell me guys what you think. Is it too much? Like, I can't lie, I felt super sassy, but I think I was just a little bit uncomfortable since they were so va va voom. One thing that I didn't even think of until reading that, I didn't really struggle blending my natural lash into any of these styles. Just popped on some mascara, and my lashes did blend in seamlessly to these lashes, which I feel like is so important to make them look more natural. If you can make false lashes look natural, I mean, they don't really look natural, but it definitely helps, and you don't want it to look like, oh, here's my lashes, and then here's the falsies. So definitely, that, that really is true, that they do blend together really nicely. Oh my goodness, my camera's gonna die soon. <laughs> so yes, if you really prefer a super natural looking lash, like something that's really going to blend in with your natural lashes but give you a little bit more length and volume, this probably isn't the brand for you. Every single pair of lashes that I wore, it was like false lashes. It was a style. It was drama. So again, if you do not like glamour on the eyes, you want a little bit more natural, this is not the brand for you. But if you are looking for really good quality, really fun styles, really affordable false lashes, I would highly recommend this. I enjoyed every single pair. Like I said, there was the one I was a little on the fence about, but every single one was easy to apply. I didn't struggle with the bands. I did have to trim, but like I said, I knew that going into it. If you're curious about what glue I was using, I've been using the eye glue, the the premium strip lash adhesive, I think it's, yep, it's by Kiss. Worked really well with these lashes. They stay on really well. They do not feel heavy on my eyes at all. I think the one thing that impressed me the most out of 
all pairs is the fact that they were so glamour on the eyes but none of them made me look sleepy none of these do that they all really open the eyes and look really beautiful while still giving me that full glam that va va boom on the eye the lashes do say that you can wear them 15 to 20 times which i feel like is really good for the price tag i have reworn several of them already and I'm not really seeing shedding or any issues at all. So overall, I am thoroughly, thoroughly impressed. So I had to share it with you guys because I know so many of you do wear false lashes and I was like, I feel like people need to hear about this because you don't see YouTubers talking about this brand and unless you watch her channel, it's not something you're gonna you're gonna know to look into. So again, Inky Minky Lashes, I will have everything in the description box down below for you guys. So yeah, check it out. If you have ever tried these lashes, let me know what you think. I am just overall super duper impressed. I'm really glad I've picked them up and I will definitely repurchase, especially this style. This one is my absolute favorite. It's just so long and flirty and sassy on the eyes. I love it. Before we close out today's video, I have to do my shout out of the day. Today's shout out of the day is Maria Montoya. She commented on my recent giveaway video saying the eyeshadow colors are so pretty. Oh my goodness, Maria, I so agree. I'm obsessed with that new Pure Festival palette. It's so much fun and the quality is amazing. Thank you so much for leaving a comment on my video and I am so, so, so thankful that you are a member of the Lash family. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and review. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Click that little button right over here. Join the Lash Fam, you won't regret it. We have so many amazing members of the Lash family. Join the Positivity Train. I upload two videos every single week. Also, make sure you follow me on Instagram. I love getting interactive with you guys on there and sharing little bits of my life. If you don't follow me on Instagram, maybe you don't have Instagram, it's not your thing, I get that. Make sure you check the community tab here on my channel. I love sharing polls on there and Instagram to get your guys' feedback on what videos I should be filming. So yes, definitely check all of that out. And as always, please try to stay positive because at the end of the day, that is truly all we can try to do. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day.